वेलकम टू यू इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश आरबीएनबी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर यू आर स्टडिंग स्पेशल पेपर थ्री एस पे पी यू इंग्लिश दैट इज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ नॉवेल एंड बिकॉज द वी हा वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टू टॉपिक्स अंडर दिस हेड दैट इज द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ नॉवेल and the types of novel this is the first video related to the background of the novel and in this video you are going to know about what is literary genres especially in concern with the novel here is the lesson plan for you in which we are, we are going to follow first of all in the literary genres we have two major types that is prose and poetry the second one is what is fictional work and what is non fictional work the third one is the sub genres of fiction and non fiction number 4 is what is a novel and the definitions given by the different critics and thinkers and the last point is what is the main purpose of novel now here we are going to study them one by one so the first category of the genre is broadly divided as earlier i said that is prose and poetry so in prose again we have the two types that is fictional and non fictional so here in prose we can divide it into two parts for that is fictional and non fictional while in poetry what are the features of poetry you have already studied at syb so far as the uh, prose is concerned we have number of uh, sub uh, types of the fictional and non fictional work just like we have novel short story drama fairy tales narrative then uh, pebbles parables folklore biography and autobiography these are the sub genres of prose so far as the po poetry is concerned the poetry may be subjective or objective it has the common features that is uh, uh, it has lyrical quality then it has rhyme rhythm etc we have the different types of poetry even also just like lyric song ode elegy sonnet or ballad epic uh, metrical romance and dramatic poetry now i come to because uh, the paper is for the prose section that is why i would like to focus your attention on the sub genres of prose first i come to what is non fiction and fiction and what are its genres so what is non fiction let us know that non fiction work is uh, deals with the factuals or we can say facts for example in a uh, biographies and autobiographies as well as in the historical work we see that uh, there is no place for the imagination whatever going to happen in the uh, in the work is related it is a factual we can say or fact in the life of particular person what are its features that are the main features of non fictional work that it is uh, it uh, it is related to the real events happened in somebody's life or we can say the characters in the non fictional work they are the real character the setting is real one the language is real one the time described in this work is a real one for example you are going to study a historical novel so uh, you will get the historical character as the hero and the villain or the heroine a uh, heroine and the minor characters even also so the time the setting is uh, related to that particular age 
सपोज यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फोर्टीन सेंचुरी और थर्टीन सेंचुरी बैक और एटीन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी वी कैनॉट शो एरोप्लेन ओके बिकॉज इट इज अ रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट सो वट एवर द आर्म्स एंड एम्यूनेशन यूज इन दैट पीरियड द नॉवेलिस्ट हैव टू यूज हेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन सच ए नॉवेल ही कैनॉट यूज द वर्ल्ड लाइक एटोम बॉम एंड बॉम्ब बिकॉज द वॉर इज स्पेशल द आर्म्स इन दोज डेज यूज इट इज जस्ट लाइक द सोर्स एंड शील्ड्स एटसेट्रा सो द सेटिंग मस्ट बी द रियल वन द कैरेक्टर मस्ट बी रियल रियल वन द इवेंट शुड बी हैपन टू ऑलरेडी हैपन इन द हिस्टोरिकल पीरियड एंड द फिक्शन वर्क इज क्वाइट अपोजिट और डिफरेंट और Uh, from the non fictional work so in fiction fiction is related or uh, uh, we can say deals with the uh, imaginary things the things happen in it they are related to the unreal world or in short we can say it is writer's own creation in the historical work writer create writer's creation has importance but reality plus imagination is there uh, uh, there is less place for imagination okay it is the art of the writer but in uh, in the uh, fiction work totally different from it there is no real character the imaginary events takes place the characters are unreal the setting is unreal the language is also unreal so this is the main difference between uh, fictional work and non fictional work and uh, when we study the history of fictional work written in english uh, uh, we'll notice this that first of all the fiction work is written in verse or in poetry okay now i come to the sub genres of uh, non fictional work that is our third point that is the sub genres of non fictional and fix, uh, fictional work so i come to the first first half of the third point that is sub genres of non fiction first of all uh, as we have already studied that uh, this non fiction means there is no imagination okay so the first sub genre is biography and autobiography so what is biography biography is nothing else but the story of a person's life and what is autobiography autobiography is the story of the author's life whatever the events takes place is uh, in his or her life are reflected in biography and autobiography while in the uh, narrative non fiction the story characters places uh, uh, places already happened in real life they are described in narrative non fiction next example no next sub genre we have that is the periodicals for example newspapers or magazines or journals even are so scientific journals so they are related to fact okay what has happened in real life so if you open the uh, or uh, if you start to read the newspaper what we get that is the things already happened in real life they are mentioned in the newspapers so newspapers or periodicals is the best example of the non fictional work then another example that is a reference books so reference books uh, there is no place for imagination for example dictionary or a, a thesaurus or encyclopedia they are based on the real things happened in our day to day life so there is no place for imagination in these works so they can be uh, included in non fictional work or non fictional sub genres of prose now i come to sub genres of uh, fiction so it is just opposite to non fiction again i am going to uh, tell you that non fiction is based on reality and fictional work it is real, uh, it is related to uh, imagination there is a great place for the imagination so uh, when we study the sub genres of fictional work 
again we have the different types just like the non uh, fictional work for example we have fantasy what is fantasy that is a story in a, a fantasy world or we can say magic and wizards these are the best examples of fantasy for example harry potter's work uh, for example he is a philosopher's stone or george r r martin's a song of ice and fire or arabian nights these are the best examples of fantasy and it is related to the imagination not happened in reality the second type or the second sub genre of fictional work is folklore and what is folklore it is nothing but the country's cultural stories we can say then it in uh, 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 this type or this sub genre include fables and fairy tales or myths and legends for example as so this fables are quite popular in uh, english literature the third sub genre of fictional work is parables what is parables that is the story when the story is used to illustrate moral or spiritual lesson to the uh, readers it is known as parables so we have the uh, octavia butler's wild seal or dawn these are the best examples of parables in english then we have romance romance again the sub genre next sub genre of fictional work is romance what is romance romance is nothing but the love story we can say uh, for example uh, emily brontë's wuthering heights or pride and prejudice by jane austen are the best examples of english romance then the next sub genre of fictional work is a, a mystery what is mystery that is a novel or a, a play it deals with the puzzling crime we can say uh, for example rebecca or sherlock holmes these are the examples of mystery the next sub genre of uh, fictional work is uh, science fiction now science is different and science fiction is uh, different it is related to the future world or invention of uh, technology okay it is not related to the past it is related to the future which is not in existence now for example uh, jurassic park by uh, by michael crankton this is the best example of it then next sub genre of fictional work is historical fiction historical novel is different and historical fiction is again different it is a fictitious story we can say based on history for example sir walter scott's kenil work or uh, or leo tolstoy's war and peace these examples are related to it then we have the realistic fiction again it is a very interesting sub genre of fictional work that is the story seems to real but it is not real the uh, the fault of our stars by uh, john green is the be best example of it now here here the uh, sub genres of fictional and non fictional work ends now i come to what is novel in short we can say what is novel and what are the definitions made by the different critics first of all when we see the etymology of this word what is etymology that is the origin of the word we find it is a latin word this novel comes from a latin word novelis which means something new so a novel is related to something new we can say when we see the evolution of fiction we find that there are the three stages of it in the at the first stage uh, it becomes the narrative epic at the second stage it becomes the romance and at the third stage it becomes the novel so this is the development of novel we can say so novel so far as the novel is concerned it is the main important and popular forms of literature it is a we can say long work in a prose fiction okay 
so or, or we can say it is the fictional prose or a narrative sub uh, or a narrative having got substantial length so these are some of the features we can say of the novel and the development of the novel now i come to the definition of novel so so far as the novel is concerned different thinkers or uh, different uh, authors give different definitions first of all uh, uh, w h harson which is a famous critic in english literature he says about novel that novel is the most elastic and irregular of all great forms of literary expressions while marina uh, crawford says novel is a pocket theater while uh, uh, w a uh, willingham says novel is a long narrative in prose uh, detailing the actions and fictitious people then henry fielding uh, uh, the great writer in english literature he says about uh, or while defining the novel he says novel is a comic epic in prose so this is a very good uh, definition i say while uh, professor varen says the novel is a fictitious narrative which contains a plot while merrill says that a novel is a summary of actual life so when we study you, have, you can uh, have number of definitions so uh, you can uh, search it on internet or by reading the different books different critic defined uh, novel according to his or her own point of view you can say so when we study the above definition see all of these definition they touch different aspects of novel and uh, we can uh, make a working definition of novel that it is nothing but the interpretation of life so in short we can say novel is nothing but the interpretation of life now i come to the last point that is the purpose of novel or why the novel is written the first aim is the entertainment and this is the common purpose of a, a novel just like the other forms of literature people uh, read the novel for the sake of pleasure or kill the time or utilize the leisure time so this is the main purpose of novel then the second purpose is to present the problem there are different types of uh, problems in our day to day life for example social sociological problem or religious problems or psychological problems political problems economical problems lot of problems are there and sometime the novelist describes the problems one problem we can say uh through his de depicts the picture of the problem through his novel so this can be the um, aim or purpose of novel the third one is that is the uh, portray a historical period uh that particular period it may be the purpose of the novel then the next one that is the fourth one is get inspiration for example the fictitious characters can inspire the real characters and uh, they can be used to improve themselves so such may be the purpose of novel the next that is the fifth purpose of novel is to get delight because some people delight in the other people's happiness or sometime sorrows and it may be the purpose of the novel the next purpose of novel is to get wisdom and uh, sometime we learn through the even the fake stories so people get wisdom after reading reading uh, even also and the last one is the creative release that is the creative release of the writer that fiction leads the uh, leads the writer to explore the depth uh, the depth of his or her imagination so this is about the literary genres in the next video you are going to study know about the elements of novel 
सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू टू स्पेयर टाइम विथ मी